Hello guys, it's Dave tutorial. We're going to make a little improvement to the last tutorial, which was like I said, instead of just checking it well if it the nearest point in like the direction it will check in the world space, so it would go in all directions. So it, for instance, if I wanted to travel into here, the best point would probably be up here, so it would travel over there, and that's what we're going to do in the, in today's tutorial. So to to prepare to do it, I'm going to first create here another public bool. So that we can change between these states. So public will blink to D. So that we can be blink also up and down. And in here, this is what we did in the last tutorial. And what we're going to do is make an if blink to D is inactive, then this will execute. But if it is active, else if link to the is active, then we'll execute something else. Okay, and what we're going to do, and today we're going to fill this part over here. And then I basically found two solutions to do that, and the one that I've implemented was this one, and not this one. And anyways, let me try and explain to you first the one that I didn't implement. And I Probably the, the, the one that I didn't implement is the one that's a bit more complicated because it involves trigonometry. Anyways, the idea behind it, it will be that it will throw raycasts from the edge to the center of the circle, so like that, in order to find the closest point to that point, which will be in this case our, over here or over here. Anyways, I use the, this thing, which is also a bit complicated. So the, the way that I'm going to do this is that, so this is the point where I want to travel. And what I'm going to do is to make check all of these points, if they are the closest point to, the, to that point. And if one of them is the closest point, then that will be the point where we will travel to. So with that in mind, let's get started. We are going to use previous variables that we used, which, was, which were the best point. And we're going to also create here a vector to aux. Anyways, first I want to make the best point be equal to the transform dot position. And remember, the best point has to be a point that we could travel to. So in theory, there was no point in here that would be traveled. So if it will all be like this, then we would have to travel that we wouldn't travel at all and we'll be in the same position. So the transform dot position is is a candidate for the best point. Anyways, I'm going to use here this vector to aux variable, and like I said, and this is the variable that will cycle through all of these points and check which one is the best. And to do to do cycles in two dimensions, we have to do a cycle inside a cycle. And if you are not too familiar with cycles, that this would be a, a bit troublesome. Anyways, we'll make a loop for the x and the, loops for, and the loop for the y, and this aux variable which will, will be the one that will be cycle, cycling through all the points. So this will take the x. So first off, we want to make the the original aux dot x to be in this line over here. So this is the that point which is transformed at local scale times vector right times distance minus which is, and that is this distance minus distance. So, so I want it to be equal to the transform dot position dot x. Plus transform dot local scale dot x times the distance minus the distance. So if the so if the plane is facing this direction, it will go from here. It will go. It will travel this distance and make it equal to minus the distance and make it equal to this point. If but if the player is in this sign, it will go into here and then it will decrease the distance. So minus the distance will be equal. To this point again, and that's what that's doing. 
now until when we want this to execute well we want this to execute while the outsort x is smaller than these points over here so we want to x dot x be, be equal be smaller than and we're going to make it equal to this point plus the distance so just copy this and instead of putting here a minus put here a plus and now we have to make that point that point move so aux dot x plus equals the step and that should do it oops we have a, a, little, a little error because I didn't put this over here save okay and with this loop what we're doing is making it making that aux dot x be equal to this point and then go through here 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 until it reaches this point and then it and then it stops it goes away from the loop now we have taken care of the x now we need to take care of the y so i'm going to put a loop inside this loop and in this loop what we want to do is to to make the aux dot y be equal to to the transform of position dot y minus this distance so it would be something like this point over here so transform dot position dot y minus the distance oops distance and we want this to happen until the aux dot y well the aux dot y is smaller than this point over here and this is basically equal to the position the y position of the player plus the distance plus this distance over here so because this is like this will make like a circle like so and that distance should be the same so transform dot position dot y plus distance and we also want to increment the aux dot y with the step which is in this way and now let me show you what this is doing so it makes first it makes the offset x be equal to a point in this line and makes the offset y be equal to a point in this line so the points that cross it makes this point over here okay so we have found the point and then it goes through the offset y until the offset y is bigger than the upper point so it goes like this and then when it is, it gets out of this inner loop and goes into the outer loop and it increases the aux.x with step. So it goes to here, it goes like this to here and then it goes like that again, that again and checks all those points again until it reaches the final point. Okay, so right now we have a, a way to cycle through all the loops and now we want to find the best point. What is the best point? So, if something happens, we want to switch the best point with that with aux. Best point equals aux, but only if something happens. And what is that something? Well, first off, we only want to find points that are at a smaller distance than the previous points. Meaning, if this point is the current best point, and suddenly we check for this point then of course this point is less distance from this than that point as you can see so that this point will be the new best point so we have to check the distance so vector 2 dot distance so the distance from the aux to that to this point and that point as we put it here a thousand times already is this over here is the distance from the aux is smaller than the distance from the best point oops from the best point
to the point where we want to teleport then we would want to switch the points but this is not the only condition that you want the point also has to be not on terrain so a point like this and the distance from this point to this point is smaller than this distance but this point would still be invalid because we have to check if it is or not inside a collider so to check that we have already did something like that in the last tutorial which was this over here so I'm going to put here an AND and check if there's a physics 2D dot overlap point with the coordinates of the aux that that is not on terrain. So if it isn't on terrain, that it means that this is a valid point and then this will be executed. And now if I put here the transform dot position to be equal to the best point supposedly we will go to the best point so right now the step make sure all of these three uh, bulls are activated so it executes this part over here and now if I hit play you'll see so for instance the the point is over here so the nearest point will be on the top so if I press L you'll see I go on to the top and for instance if I'm over here the nearest point is over here but this point is also close so it will depend on how the calculations go and it will go over there but if you want this to be more precise all you have to do is to change here the the step so the smaller the step the more precise it is and the more calculations it has to do so I put the step at 0 0.01 so if I press L right now it's supposed to use go over here because this is actually the nearest point so if I press L it, you see that after a while it takes a second so as you can see it takes a second and after a while it goes over there that's exactly what you want and that's all you have to do put this step a little bit too small because if it is too small although it is more precise it takes a bit more time but other than that it works pretty fine and as you can see it's working fine and by the way sometimes you have to take to be careful because sometimes if you have stuff like this in this case the last point will be over here and sometimes the player will go into the wall as you can see and we don't want that and uh, a quick way to solve this is just by changing the the step to something a little bit bigger like 0.5 so if it is 0.5 you'll see that it will go right on top and that's a quick way to solve it but there may be other ways to solve it that are more correct but anyways this worked for me and this is it for today guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.